on in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stomp your feet to the beat. Jump. Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen. Wave your hands in the air if you're ready to have some fun and learn about Jesus together. Me too. We're in a series called Rocky's Road Trip. Road trips are so much fun. I love driving somewhere new and making stops along the way. In this series, we'll join Rocky Raccoon on a road trip as we learn more about the life of Jesus. Let's get started by practicing our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is Jesus forgives me. Kiddos, all of us do things that God says are wrong sometimes, but Jesus came to forgive us. Now let's stand up and practice the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. Jesus forgives me. Great job, turn around. Now let's say the big idea all together in our roaring lion voices, ready? Rawr, rawr, the big idea, rawr, 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 Jesus forgives me, rawr, rawr. Awesome, turn around. Now let's say the big idea in our hooting owl voices, ready? Who, 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 the big idea, who, 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 Jesus forgives me. Who, who, who. Great job. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea one more time like we're a waddling penguin. Ready? The big idea. Jesus forgives me. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Awesome job practicing the big idea, kiddos. You can sit down. The big idea is so important, we're going to say it a lot of times today. Whenever you see a car and hear a vroom sound like this, it's time to say the big idea. Let's practice right now. The big idea. Jesus forgives me. Great job. Every time we say the big idea, we'll go a little farther on our road trip. Can you pretend to hold on to a steering wheel and drive with Rocky Raccoon to our next stop? Here we go! Next, we get to learn more by going on a Bible adventure. <laughs> It's time for a Bible adventure, oh way oh, oh way oh. Here we go. <laughs> the Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God. It also has true stories about when Jesus lived on the earth. Today, we get to read a story about a time when Jesus forgave someone. One day, Jesus was at a house teaching people about God. More and more people came to listen to Jesus. Soon, the room was so full of people that no one could move. 
Outside the house, a man who couldn't walk wanted to see Jesus. The house was so full he couldn't get inside. Then one of his friends had an idea. The man's friends carried him up to the roof on a mat. The man's friends started digging a hole right through the roof of the house. When the hole was big enough, the friends lowered the man down. They set him on the floor right in front of Jesus. Jesus looked at the man and said, Friend, you are forgiven. Then Jesus said, Now get up, take your mat with you, and walk. Suddenly the man on the mat stood up and could walk. He went home praising God for this amazing miracle. Great listening, kiddos! First, Jesus healed the man's heart by forgiving him for the wrong things he had done. Then Jesus healed his body. Jesus can forgive us and help us, just like he did for the man on the mat. <laughs> That's our big idea sound. Can you say it with me, kiddos? The big idea. Jesus forgives me. Great job. Now we can go a little farther on our road trip. Rocky's ready to keep driving, so take out your steering wheels and let's drive! We're getting closer to our final stop, kiddos! Now it's time to practice a memory verse all about who we should follow. Memory verse, memory verse, you can remember the memory verse, hey, hey! Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen, and this is my friend Charlie. It's time to stand up and sing our memory verse together. In this verse, Jesus is telling people that following him is the only way to be friends with God forever. It goes like this. John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. And this time, let's sing the verse again in our super quiet whisper voices. Ready? John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Great job, kiddos. Turn around. This time, let's sing it again in our super loud voices. Are you ready? John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth. job practicing the memory verse. Now let's stay standing so we can sing another song together. This one is all about when Jesus died on the cross and came back to life. Jesus did that because he loves us so much.
thing. You can sit down. Oh, I know what that means. It's time to say our big idea one more time. Can you say it with me? The big idea. Jesus forgives me. Great job. Now it's time to head to our last stop on the road trip. Take out your steering wheels and let's drive. Now it's time to see where we ended up on our road trip by trying out what we've been learning today. Try it out, try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right. We've been learning that Jesus forgives us. Now it's time to try it out. Our forest friend, Rocky Raccoon, has been sending us out on a road trip every week. Here's the map he gave us, and I can't wait to see where we get to go today. Are you ready for an adventure, kiddos? Me too! We're going on a road trip with Rocky. We're going on a road trip, hooray. We're going on a road trip with Rocky. Let's find out what we're going to learn today. We're going on a road trip, going on a road trip. Let's find out what we're going to learn today. Kiddos, we made it! And I see something really special over there. It looks like a big waterfall. Let's go take a closer look. You know what's amazing about this waterfall, kiddos? It's so big and there's so much water. It keeps coming and coming. It seems like at some point it might run out of water, but it doesn't. The water never stops. That makes me think about Jesus and the way he forgives us. Jesus will forgive us over and over again anytime we ask him to. We saw Jesus forgive someone in our Bible adventure story today. The man on the mat couldn't walk and he wanted Jesus to heal him. His friends brought him up on a roof, dug a hole, and lowered the man down right in front of Jesus. Then Jesus did something surprising. Before he healed the man's legs, Jesus healed the man's heart by forgiving him. Jesus knew that forgiving the man was more important. Kiddos, do you think Jesus forgives us just like he forgave the man on the mat? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, Jesus forgives us. All of us do things that God says are wrong sometimes. Things like lying, hurting someone, taking something that doesn't belong to us, or using mean words. When we make wrong choices or disobey God, we can know that Jesus will forgive us every time we ask him to. Just like this waterfall will never run out of water, it just keeps going and going. Jesus' love and forgiveness for us will never run out. And because Jesus forgives us, we can forgive other people too. Well, I can't wait to see where we go next week, kiddos. It's amazing to know that Jesus forgives us every time we ask him to. Now it's time to celebrate all we learned today by standing up and going Kidawampus together. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing it's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing Kid, oh Wampus. Kid, oh Wampus. What? Kid, oh Wampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. It's time for Run Jump Freeze! 
When Rocky the raccoon runs, run in place with him. When Rocky jumps, jump around with him. And when the music stops, freeze. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Yep. Super job! That was a super fun kid of Wampus. You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God together. We can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. Right now, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. If you want to, you can repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us. Amen. Well, thanks for coming along on this road trip with me, kiddos. Remember, Jesus loves you and forgives you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.